arithmetic and geometric series. In this video, we are going to focus on the sum of an arithmetic series. You will find this on page 216 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook, y equals mx plus c to success. Arithmetic and geometric series. A series is simply a sequence where the terms are added. For example, suppose we have the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The series we obtain from this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And we write S5 for the sum of these terms. Thus, whenever one hears the word series, the first thing to come to mind is the sum of numbers, to add up numbers. Now, let's focus on the sum of an arithmetic series or an AP. The sum of an arithmetic series is found by multiplying the number of terms times the average of the first and the last term. So you can either use, if you have the first and the last terms, you can add it up, and then you multiply it with the amount of terms, and because it's average, you divide it by two. But if you don't have the last terms, and you only have the last term, and you only have the first three terms, then this formula will be better. Okay, so it's n over 2, the same, but it's 2a plus d n minus 1. So a is the first term, n is the number of terms, and l is the last term. Now, let's look at this example. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic series, 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. Okay, a is 5, d, now they tell you it's an a piece, so then you can just say the front minus the back is 2, n is 20, they want 20 terms, and sn, I want the sum of the 20 terms. And it's basically just substitution. So I fill in everything, I work it out, and I get my answer. Very important that you just memorize these two formulas. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 46. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, there is the series. Now, in this case, they are not telling you it's an AP. So the best is first to test it. You can say the value of A is free, but let's just test. This is term one, this is term two, and this is term three. So let's say term two, it doesn't matter which one, must be equal to three minus two. Let's see if it's true. So I'm going to say 8 minus 3 must be equal to 13 minus 8. So that's going to be 5, and that is also going to 5. So therefore, the value of t will be 5. If I move on, I will go on and I will say, what is n? n is 24. And I'm actually looking for s24. Okay. So I don't have the first and the last, so I have to go with this formula. So let's just start, say is n, n over 2, 2a plus d, n minus 1, close the bracket. So is n, okay, now it's is 24, and then it's n over 2, so it's 24 over 2, 2a plus d, 5, n minus, so it's 24 minus 1. So this is going to give me that 12. This is going to give me 6 plus 5, and it's 23. Okay, but that will just keep the 12, simplify this, this, so this is going to be 6 plus 115. And that is going to be 1452. That's going to be my final answer. OK. Let's go to the next one. Now, if you look at this example, now you will find n. Okay, not TN, N. So they will say, they give you the series, and they give you that term, the last 
44. But you must find out, this give us sum of 44. So they give you Sn is 44, and you must find the value of N. So exactly A is 19, D, uh, you can again test to see if it's an AP, 16 minus 19, 13 minus 16, okay? And then it's N over 2, and it's 2A plus, there is the value of D, N minus 1, close. So it's 42, N over 2, 38 minus 3N plus 3. And now, just remember, it's always easy in this formula. If there's a 2, this is one term. First, it's actually over 2. This whole term is over 2. It's, it's almost like you cross multiply. One term equals one term, so just multiply the 2 on the other side. Then it's easier. Then you end up with a quadratic equation. But remember, usually this will be able to factorize because the value of n can just be a natural number. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, not a fraction, not negative, not even zero. So if you get two options, you already disqualify this one because it's a fraction. So the value of n will just be 11. Okay, so it must be a positive whole number. So um, how many terms of the series must be added to give a sum of 77? So if I look at this one, okay, I want you, you can stop again the video and you can do it. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. So this is 22 plus 19 plus 16 plus. Okay. Now, and I, and, and I want the sum, is, so Sn will be 77. Now, let's start again. The value of A is 22. Um, let's just mark the terms. This is term 1, this is term 2, this is term 3. So it's T3 minus T2 must be equal to T2 minus T1. So this is going to be 16 minus 19 must be equal to 19 minus 22. That is negative 3. That is negative 3. So therefore, uh, the value of D is negative 3. And then I can go on. Sn is 70, and I'm looking for the value of N. Okay, start with the formula. Say so Sn equals N over 2. 2a plus d bracket n minus 1 close. So Sn is 77 equals, I'm looking for n, I have a substitute, I have d, you can even do it like that, I don't have n, and I just close. So it's 70, 77 equals n over 2, 44 minus 3n plus 3. Now this is 1, so I multiply with this one on the other side, so I get 154, and then I'm rid of the fractions. So it's n. This is 43, so it's uh, plus 3, so it's 47 minus 3n. So it's going to be 154 equals 40. Oh, let's just get 47 n minus 3n squared. Okay, so this is going to be 3n squared minus 47n plus 154, and that will be equal to 0. And then I will just factorize. Now, if I factorize, um, this one is a bit more, so 7, yes. So if I'm, this is in group B, or group A, because it's positive. So let's just see, 14, times 11 and 3 times 1. So this will be 33 uh, plus 14. 
Okay, and if you say 14 plus 33, that will give you the 47. The signs will be the same, and it's negative A negative, and it's N N. So this will give me 3N minus 14, N minus 11 equals 0. Okay, so this will give me 3N minus 14 equals 0, or n minus 11 equals 0. So 3n equals 14, n equals 11. Divide 3, divide 3. So the value of n will be 4 and 2 thirds, and the value of n will be 11. Okay, so therefore, n is equal to 11 or you can you can so it cannot be a fraction so you must add 11 terms to get a sum of 77 so this will be not applicable so you must add 11 terms to get a sum of 77 okay uh, let's move on find the sum of the arithmetic series this is exactly the same but now, in this case, it's not added. It's part of the term, okay? So it's not like the 77. It's, it's, that is the last term, okay? And now, I think then we can work it out, okay? Now we must first find the value of n. Now, how do I find the value of n? I use the TN formula. So it's 300. I substitute A. I substitute a D is 3 is because if I subtract, and I get n is 100. And now I can say 100 over 2, the first term was 3, and the last term was 300, and then I simplify it. Okay, so it's almost like you will do two sums. First Tn to find how many, how many terms will give me a sum of 300, and then I will do Sn. Okay, again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do trinomial 48. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So find the sum. Okay, now, now just remember again. I just want to show you here. Okay, it's not the sum up today. That's the last term, but I must find... How many terms will it be up to that term? So if I look at this, okay, don't forget, this is term 1, this is term 2, this is term 3, and just that is the last term. Okay, so the value of A will be 99. Now, uh, they say it's an AP. So if they say it's an AP, you can just go T2 minus T1. So it's going to be 97 minus 99. And that is going to give me an answer of negative 2. And then, uh, let me see. Um, now, I want to find Tn. I know that Tn, that last term, is 25. So I start with that formula. I say Tn, think back, it's A plus, it's not Sn. D, I don't want to put the bracket. D, N minus 1. So in the place of Tn, I put 25, and A is 99 plus negative 2, N minus 1. So 25 is equal to 99 minus 2, N plus 2. Okay, so I take this over because I want it positive. So it's 99 plus 2, minus 25, so 2n is going to give me, let's just quickly go into loop, that's going to give me 76, hmm, my pin, okay, that's 76, so I divide 2, and I divide 2, and the value of n is 38, okay, and now I will just move on, okay, I just want to give this 49, is going to get rid of it. Okay, now I can just move on. And now I have the first and the last. So Sn equals, you remember that formula? 
A plus L. So now I'm just going to get, oh, it seems to me the 8 didn't come out. Okay. So it's going to be S38 is 38 divided by 2. Remember, this is the first term, 99. That is the last term. And the last term was 25. And that will give me an answer of 19. And that's 1, 2, 4. And if I multiply it, it will be 2, 3, 5, 6. So if I add it up, up to that term, which is the 38th term, I will get a sum total of 2356, 2356.